Hey guys, Winter Lady here, and this is Plants in Paradise. Um, this is a house that is built specifically for Sims that are going to be plant Sims pretty much 24-7. It's like a tiny little cottage that only has a bathtub, a dresser, and a, uh, and a, uh, and a bed, of course, and, uh, and, like, there's a sink outside and everything, and a pool that is shaped like a pond. I also have the woohoo bush for, you know, guests that need to use the bathroom, and, uh, what else? Um, yeah, and it's, like, got a lot of space for gardening and growing, and it's got a little fire pit in case you really do need to eat something, um, but plant sims don't need to eat, so it's, like, all the really kind of cruddy stuff for that kind of thing. Um, I built it, and I, I, I wasn't going to, but I had the suggestion, so I did a plant sim challenge kind of thing except for I kind of want to do a plant sim series and uh, so yeah I think I've already posted the first episode but I'll be linking this in it and everything so maybe you found the uh, the uh, this through the episode um, as you can see I have half walls all the way around the back and for privacy I placed vines growing up so it's like a wall of vines instead of you know a regular wall and it still allows light into the room and so your sim should be able to get um, actual sunlight and yeah um, I had to do it on the inside too because when you have it just on the outside they disappear um, from when you're looking through the inside, but uh, I think overall this house is super cute It's uh, one of my favorite builds right now. Actually. I really enjoy it um, Yeah, so yeah, there's a couple cuts because I had to leave and then come back and stuff like that um, Yeah, so uh, I uh, I I uh, hope you guys like this. This is really fun to do. Um, and uh, I might do some more similar builds, but for uh, actual regular sims and not just plant sims. Because uh, I think that could come out really cute. Um, and uh, like I used a, I used the uh, vines from the, uh, from the, uh, get together and from the vampire stuff pack as you can see so uh, if you have those then you're probably going to be able to use most everything in this build um, I noticed when I placed the lot down that some of the wall vines behind the bed disappeared and so if you want that full wall vine look just copy move objects on copy and redo it it's not that hard um <laughs> but uh i thought it looked fine even with like less vines and i mean if you took down the all the vines it would be fine too i'm sure um now i see i put these uh planter boxes in around the window sills and it turned out that that blocked from the uh bookshelf that I put down and so like if you want the bookshelf for more than aesthetic you want to delete one of the pot the the, the pot the uh, planter boxes that it sits underneath the window um, that's right next to it and uh, yeah I want I, I don't know what it is but like the past couple builds I've been wanting to put a little fence around it to hold it in and like not really have it even with the door uh i didn't end up using this backyard fencing but i do go back and um replace it with uh you'll see it, i don't know what the name of the fencing is called um but it definitely had a 
has a more country feel to me and uh, that's kind of something I want with this um, so yeah uh, I've been also building a lot from the top down looking down and that's been making it a lot easier also um, those outdoor retreat lights that I just placed are super cute yeah, here I am trying to figure out what fencing I actually do want to use. And I tried for this vine uh, brick wall for a while. And I just really wasn't feeling it. And no matter what shade I went with. Um, and I tried a couple of the... Uh, yeah, as you can see, I tried those fences for a while. And I just kept jumping and jumping. And I finally settled on the cheapest fence that one and I felt it looked very like country and stuff and that you could have that basically anywhere and um, I put the green archway as the door because of course why not have a green archway for the door and uh, I tried doing a couple things with the trellises and I put like that there the uh, the uh, kids monkey bars there with the flowers and everything because I felt it looked good with the build, but like this really isn't a build where you have a kid living here, so it was kind of superfluous. Um, yeah. I would really like to have some vine trellises that your sims can just walk under and everything instead of using wedding arches like I've seen some people do. Um, I felt the wedding arches were too fancy for what I wanted. Like, just some wrought iron um, trellises with flowers or, or vines or grapes or something growing up them would be kind of awesome. Um, but, yeah, I uh, tried a couple things and didn't really ever get what I wanted. Um, I ended up placing a bunch of rocks around the pathways. And, yeah, and I think it came out really nice. Um... I also placed down, yeah, this fire pit in case somebody was hungry, and, um, one of the chairs is a stump, and I put the, uh, as you can see back there right now, the wishing well still back there, but, uh, I end up replacing it with, um, the actual tree. I had to go into the gallery and find it, and, um, yeah, so if you guys like didn't want to actually go through all the stuff to get it it's right there um but uh I, when I do my challenge I delete it and I go and do it all on my own and uh yeah so um it's not that hard to get all the beans it took me about an hour and yeah so it's not like the worst thing in the world and uh I've been saying and uh a lot in this. Um, I don't know. I just really love everything about this build. I think it's so cute. And there it goes in the bush. Uh, this, yeah, I'm about to go in and uh, change everything and put in the uh, pond. Um, I think I do that on camera. Pretty sure. Uh, or maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Um, there was a few things I didn't do on camera with this build, and uh, you'll see them soon. Um, it's it, it was getting like sometimes I like forget just to forget to hit record, and uh, I think it was getting a little late around the time I was finishing up here. Um, hold on a second. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'm just dying, guys. It's fine. Um, yeah, no, I guess I don't put the pond in right now, because we're almost done here, and I'm about to come up on the screenshots. Uh, as you can see, I did landscaping in this, but it wasn't, like, you know, very neat or nice landscaping. Just regular, and, uh, I think it's pretty cute, but, uh, yeah. Um, well, I guess you'll see the pond and everything in this next shot, uh that's about to come up and so I guess I'll leave you here and you 
guys can have a great day and so so.